Aloha friends! I have been wanting to share a recipe with you guys for a while now. Now this is with my Kasori um, 6 quart pressure cooker. Less time in the kitchen, more time enjoying fresh food, fast food uh, pressure cooker. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's 6 quart. And today we are going to make um, chili. And it comes with a recipe book. So I'm going to use the page 21 simple southern recipe of a uh, southern chili and then I'm just going to add a little bit of my own variation to it because I do make chili a lot for the family. This is the second time I've made this and the first time it turned out really good. So this time around I wanted to go ahead and film for you guys. Now I'm not going to copy the, the recipe as exact like I said but I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about um, the Kasori uh, premium pressure cooker that I do have. Now if you guys are asking what exactly is a Kasori uh, pressure cooker, it's basically like seven things in one. Um, it has, um, you can stew meat in there, poultry, soup, beans and chili, white rice, brown rice, malter grain. You can steam vegetables in here. You can slow cook like a slow cooker, but you can also pressure cook um, the meat with the, the stew and the poultry and all that stuff. And then you can cook different kinds of rice, the white rice, the brown rice, or multi-grain. You steam your vegetables, and then you can also make yogurt. Pasta, you can boil, or do your pasta boil, steam potatoes, and then you could also use it as your hot pot. Now, this pressure cooker also does like saute. So what I'm going to do, um, along with bake, so what I'm going to do is just um, the recipe book. So I've tried out two recipes so far. And the chili was one of them and like I said even the first one I did add my own variation but as you guys can see with the with this recipe book here's the beans and chili so what I usually do when I make my uh, my chili before I had the the kasori is that I would saute um, the the meat along with the onions and then the garlic and then drain that and then um, add on the other ingredients and once I do that because the chili um, to us um, we favor the taste of chili when it's been onto the slow cooker for a few hours so I'll put it into the slow cooker between four to six hours um, and then we can enjoy it um, as a family meal but for this particular recipe, it says it's six servings, so it's good enough, um, a large enough size for my family. Prep time is 10 minutes, and then the cook time is only 24 minutes. So that's where the pressure cooker comes in, into fact that it takes so much less time if you put it into your pressure cooker compared to if you're cooking it over the stove top and then putting it into your oven or putting it into the crock pot. So let's get started. All right, so here is my Kasori pressure cooker. So it has the stop, cancel, on and start, delay, start, keep warm, cook time, and then manual, adjust pressure temperature. You can adjust those as well. And then here is the, um, the, the buttons for the meat, the poultry, the soup, and then the beans, all that stuff that I talked about onto the thing. It even has reheat, bake, and such. So the recipe, and then it, it's really deep. It's six quart. So I just wash that, and then inside it, yeah. And it's very, um, it's like multi-layer. And then it has this really thick uh, material in here, just like um, if you were cooking it into like the, the crock pot. Um, material so it has that the liner and then it has um, this on the outside so I'm going to go ahead and put this in here okay and then the recipe calls for about two tablespoon of oil so I'm going to put in yeah just a I'm just going to eyeball it and then it says to put in your ground beef into the pot okay all right, I went ahead and put the lid and then also um, added about salt and um, salt and pepper on top of the, the meat and a little bit of the seasoning and then press the sa uh, saute button and then pressed on so it's doing its magic on that. And then, so I will be checking onto the pressure cooker in about maybe 10-15 minutes and then once it's lightly brown I'm going to drain it. 
uh, drain the, the fat liquid in there. I did not do that step last time because when I was going through the recipe, it did not say to drain um, the fat from the meat. But this time around, I'm going to opt to do that. And then I'm going to add in the, the garlic and then the onions. And then just saute that just for a little bit longer, maybe around two more minutes. And then I'm going to add the tomatoes followed by all the spices and I put the spices in here already. This spices is just basically my chili, um, chili seasoning spices which got like cumin, oregano, um, salt and pepper and then it's got like um, cayenne pepper in here and then also like a chili seasoning powder. Um, so I just mix all that in here and then I'm also going to add on to like a broth. So I have, um, I just have chicken broth, but I'd rather add chicken broth than just water. But um, the recipe calls for beef, uh, beef broth, but I make my own chicken broth. And then lastly, I'm going to add uh, the beans. So we'll go ahead and wait for that. And then once it's almost cooked, I do add just a little drizzle of um, yellow mustard in there towards the end. And this is also the time that um, you can add your own variation. Sometimes I put red and green uh, bell peppers onto my chili along with uh, very finely chopped um, jalapenos. This literally took about five minutes. So I wanted to show, um, share with you guys what it looks like in five minutes. So as you guys can see, it's like already browned. So it cooks really, really fast. I'm just going to go ahead and, and smash this up like the recipe says. Just basically give it like a, a crumble to it. And I bought like really um, good quality meat this time. There's not a lot of fat in there at all. So I'm just going to really see how it's brown. Only been about nine minutes and everything in here, like the meat, the onion is really cooked well. I added the seasoning and I like to add the seasoning last just in case I have, not last, but after the meat is just a little bit more brown, just in case I do have to drain the meat, then I'm not dumping out the seasoning that I'm using. But like I said, I don't need to drain the meat. So it's really cooking fast. That's what I loved about this when I was using it. Okay, I'm gonna put in the tomatoes. Stir that up. I'm also going to put in about a cup of the broth. And then stir that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just cook it. Check back on it in about maybe two minutes because it does cook it really fast. And you don't want to over stir it too much. Just want to make sure that the yeah, it's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my beans. So I just have one can of kidney beans and one can of black beans in here. And then I'm going to drizzle with just a little bit of mustard. So I went ahead and stopped the setting for the saute and then now I'm going to press the beans and the chili and that's just 11 minutes all right friends it has cooked so this is what my chili looks like and it has only been cooking for about maybe 24 26 26 minutes and it is thoroughly cooked the most important thing is that when you are using a pressure cooker is that as you can tell with the lid it has the lock and the unlock section here is the valve right here you got to make sure that it's um, onto the close or the sealed valve when you are um, doing your pressure cooking just like I was doing with the chili and then when there's pressure onto it this valve right here the red button or the red valve actually goes up and then before you can open the lid, you have to release the pressure and then a lot of steam will, will come out and then it will not allow you to unlock the lid and be able to open it until this valve comes down um, and the pressure has released. So that is a nice feature of this.
Another nice feature of the Kasori pressure cooker is that once it is done, my chili is now ready, but my family is not ready to um, eat it yet. So you can put on the lid and then put it on warm.